viewers, this is Just Swag Network TV, a home of accurate news and current news. For those who subscribe to our channel, thank you so much for subscribing and Merry Christmas to every one of you. And now the news and details that Suki and Shuwares release, I fear Inam De Kanu from today. Those who listen to Inam De Kanu's radio Biafran broadcast on Saturday 21st December, three days before Shuwares was released, which he broadcasted from America, will be shocked not just on Shuwares' release, but in Amde Kano's insider knowledge and connection to international power brokers. While trying to explain the unworkability of Nigeria as a nation and the hopelessness of believing in one Nigeria, citing Afghanistan and the recent American-Afghan war as a case of study, Kano said, I am saying this because Shuwere will soon be released. We have done a lot of works on his behalf and soon it's they will release him. They will have no other option than to release him. It doesn't matter what DSS does, but I advised him to leave one Nigeria and fight for his people. Just three days after his broadcast and uncanny prediction, surprise, surprise, Shewere was unconditionally released by DSS. This goes not only to show that Kanu knows more than the Nigerian government, but also as contact and connection of foreign powers that be, I fear and believe whatever he says. Wow, this is a great one. So my viewers today, what do you think about Kano's prediction? Because it looks as if Kano's prediction is totally right. He said it and it came to reality. And a lot of people made a comment and said that either anybody believe it or not, nobody will surely break sooner or later. People who support one Nigeria are ignorant of the real happening in Nigeria. If we say something belongs to all of us, we're supposed to have equal access to it. But in the case of Ninja, the Nigeria, the northern and where heat, other regions belongs to heat. And the Sardinam the Kano has finished the work and he is only waiting for the day that the so-called Nigeria will break up. So because with the look of things, with the way Nigeria is going right now, Nigeria is going to the edge of breaking up. And we're just praying that God should take charge of Nigeria. God should just manifest himself. And that God should bring a good leader that will restructure Nigeria. And uh, somebody said that reading through comments, it is clear that lots of non-Southeastern Nigeria rejected Kalu's ideological call for a breakup of Nigeria. Some person even challenged Inam the Kanu to come back to Nigeria if he is true to his belief. Some threaten him with jail and are quick to forget that Sim Kalu became popular and gained international recognition, sympathy, and wider fellowship, followership after he was jailed by the, his present administration. I also want people to understand that important facts, no singular individual hold the key to be friend like some person would want to believe. That is the mistakes governments make when fighting an ideological take apartheid South African for an instance, the regime jailed Mandela and co, but it did not stop the fight for South African independence. Others carried home with the fight. Though I don't support a breakup of Nigeria, but we need to know that Biafran is an ideological that lives in the hearts of millions of Hegos and as such won't be supp suppressed by force of harms. Instead, the government should employ dialogue and show by it its body language that the nation belongs to every nations alike. If Kalu goes to jail tomorrow or even dies, another individual will rise up to further the cause of Biafran independence, probably one who may decide to use armed struggle like we have in many other countries, such as Republic of Cameroon, was and not always won on the battlefield but rather on negotiation negotiation table, violence forced people to dialogue. Ideology can surprise with force of harms and executive excessive. We tried that with Boko Haram and they became even deadlier than they were. Tried it with the South-South region and we were faced with militancies. For those who believe Nigeria will never break up, needs to think again. The signs are everywhere for us to see. It would take just one serious event to get the nation to disintegrate, like it took one event to push Nigeria into a civil war. Wow, this guy is actually saying the truth. He is actually saying the truth. 
Nigerians should give the Higos what they want. I will keep on saying this. They should give Biafrans what they want. And that is it. Enam Dekano is trying his best. He is really trying his best. Let's say, for example, if there is no Enam Dekano today, Biafrans will still exist. In fact, they might even have somebody that will even forcefully get they, they get uh, Biafran's rights. So that, that is it. The whole scenario is that they should give them what they want. They should give them what they want. I, I like the way this guy said something. He said that um, if Galo goes to jail tomorrow or even that, another individual will rise up to further the cause of Biafran's independence. And that is just the truth. It is not even only uh, Kalu, it is not only Kanu issues alone. It is about all Biafrans. Another people will come up again and fight. In fact, this, uh, this, in fact the set of people that will come up might forcefully come up and create a war. And they will fight for their rights. And that is just the truth. That's just the truth. And you know, uh, a lot of people, somebody said that the body language and hope and vomit from northerners recently do not support further existence of Nigeria. So no one should blame Kano for his bitter opposition to Nigeria. Let Kano work on Britain if he wants his behavior actualized without bloodshed. Because another bloodshed will soon be very soon. And Nigeria said, and somebody said, Nigeria unity is as strong as its weakest link. The truth remains that the day our brothers and sisters in the northern part of Nigeria decides to leave this entity called Nigeria, I bet you Nigeria will cease to exist. That's very that very soon instant, and there will be nothing anyone will be able to do about it to stop them from leaving. And that is true. The way this government is going right now, they are going to the hedge of separation. They are going to the hedge of in disintegration. It is God that can help us. It is God. And somebody made a comment and said, I support peaceful disengagement as a Yoruba man. Enough is enough. Let everyone hear their father's name. Not by force. Nigeria is not working for any of the components that that from Nigeria. Let us divide peacefully. Kilo day. The best thing even spoke in Yoruba. I said kilo day. And that is true. People are tired of all this mess that is going on right now. A lot of people are really, really tired. People want disintegration. People want separation. Let everybody go to their home, whatever, to, the, to wherever they come from. Let everybody go there. You know, and somebody said that there is no mystery in such a political calculations. And beside, it serves its interest to be to be so divisive for his Biafran vision against the Nigeria Igbo destiny. His vision share a common line with Chiwere. Both individuals want to possess power and rule as head of a nation. Chiwere contested and failed. He attempted to influence a social disorder and failed. He is backed by people who have hard to gain from the Nigerian political instability, neither work for his people, and both work to be famous. And that is just the truth fact about what is going on right now. That's just the truth fact, is that Inam Dekanu has said it all. Whether we like it or not, Inam Dekanu is actually saying the truth. Whether we like it or not, he is saying the truth. And that is it. And all thanks to Hinam the Kanu. He is actually supporting his, his other Biafrans. This is what they want. Free us. Give us what, they, what we want. Nigerians, a Nigerian government should do the same thing. Free them. Give them what they want. That is it. Be cool. So my viewers today, what do you think about this news? What is your own take? Your comment is very, very important to us. And please kindly drop your comments at the comment section below. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. For those who did, 
thank you god bless you for subscribing and if you are yet to subscribe please kindly press the subscription button below thank you and god bless you